हेलो फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्रेस द बेल बटन टू रेगुलर अपडेट्स Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel technology and I'm back with another exciting video and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure a go auto dial server on your virtual machine so you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel because it's really encourage me and motivate me to make more videos like this and as well as you will get a notification whenever I will upload a new tech related videos on my channel so please do subscribe guys it's free <laughs> So at first you need to uh, download uh, these two uh, software on your computer. One is ISO for Go Auto Dial, and another one is VirtualBox. So don't worry with that. I will give you this two download link on my video description. So if you don't know how to download it, then I will show you. First, open your Google Chrome, and from here you need to click on this link from to here. and whenever you will click on that link you will uh, get uh, this page so you need to uh, register from here first okay after that you, you you will get one verification link on your uh, gmail account on your mail account and after that you need to confirm your the confirm that link that this this is your original uh, gmail id or any any kind of mail id after that you need to log in with your go auto dial id password and after that you you can download you will able to download this go auto dial 2.1 uh, iso file okay and for virtual box you need to type on your virtual box okay in google and after that so you need to go to this first link is called virtualbox.org so i will give you this all downloading to my video description so don't worry with that so from here you can download this you need to click on this download button okay and here is a referral link from where you can uh, learn how to how to install and configure all those things so i will give you this link also my video video description okay so after download this uh, this virtual box and go to dial you need to install this virtual box on your Uh, computer and after that you need to open the virtual box okay now you need to click on this new button and after that type on there go auto dial okay and after that type uh, for linux and uh, set here red hat 64 bit okay and after that you need to click on this next button and from here you can set your how many memories you want to set for this virtual box i will choose near about uh, 1.5 gb create next next create so it's done so now as you can see there is one go auto dial icon is showing on there so you need to click on directly in this start button so after that you need to select uh, this iso from here for your virtual machine so you need to click on there and after that click on uh, so you need to go to this link okay so here is a go to rel iso this one so after that click on there and you need to click on this start button okay So now you need to click on this capture button and press enter from your keyboard. Now it will be automatic start as you can see. So installation process is running on your virtual machine. So you have to wait for some time. So if you want to if you want to uh uh use your mouse uh out of this virtual box then you have to press control from your keyboard okay
So now as you can see the installation process is successfully uh, done. So now you need to click on reboot. So before click on reboot you need to click on this device and after that optical drives choose optical drives from here. Now you need to uncheck this go auto dial 2.1 final ISO. Okay. So uncheck this button and after that recheck. So it's successfully uncheck as you can see. So now uh, what you have to do you need to reboot your virtual machine from here. So click on enter. So it's loading. So you need to wait for some time. So now what you have to do you need to open your virtual machine from here so this one you need to open and after that click on this machine option and click on this setting option okay so now you will get one network tab from here so go to network tab and select uh, from here attached to host only adapter okay and from here you need to select virtual box host only ethernet adapter and after that you need to click on this open ok button also you can right click on this uh, go auto dial and then settings then network and through that way you can also select so now what you have to do you need to right click your on this location on this location and after that click on open network sharing center or you can go through uh, directly a uh, run command is called ncpa.cpl after that click on ok so I'm getting some error ok ncpa.cpl sorry it's my typing mistake so now click on ok and now you need to right click on these virtual host only network here and after that click on properties then select a uh, uh, IPv4 TCP IPv4 and click on properties and here you need to click on this use the following IP address okay so now you need to wait so uh, on your virtual machine uh, for your virtual machine ID is root and the password is password is as you can see password is VC dial now okay so you need to put their VC dial now you cannot see anything so it's successfully on as you can see so now you need to set this IP address on your on your this LAN card this virtual box LAN card so what you have to do you need to use this range of IP that means 192.168.1 uh, range IP and after that you can put anything I will put 56 and now you need to press tab from your keyboard and after that click on ok then close now uh, you need to open your browser and after that you need to type this IP on your browser is 192.168.1.2 so now as you can see the go to, go to dial server uh, IP is, uh, so page is showing successfully so now you need to click on this admin login button and here you need to put your ID password ID is uh, admin and the password is go auto dial so put there admin and go auto dial and click on login admin maybe I have done some mistake let me check yes it's working so uh, now if you here is a here is a virtual machine your missing capacity and everything by which you can see 
uh, how many utilization right now everything you can see the auto the asterisks and the mysql apache and the Ethel, all are working it in your land card so all all are working properly so now what you have to do you need to click on visitile admin here and from here you can set everything on your on your uh, on your quarterly server so first you need to um, create a user from here if you don't know how to create user then i will show you the username like is in one and the password is is in one uh, you can see also click on this so user you can see all those users which i uh, which uh, which is uh, by default created by go to dial so from here you can set the campaign and if you want to set the um, set the uh, your uh, view ip then you have to click on this admin button and then here you need to click on this carriers and from here you have to you can create your uh your, your view ip settings so through this list you can check all the details from here from from here you can see all the details so through this way you can configure your uh, go auto dial server easily so i hope this video will really help for you so please don't forget to click on that subscribe button like button and share button and if you have any queries or question then comments below see you on next video next time take care